Secularism, as defined in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is the "...indifference to, or rejection or exclusion of, religion and religious considerations." As a philosophy, secularism seeks to interpret life on principles taken solely from the material world, without recourse to religion. In political terms, secularism is the principle of the separation of government institutions and persons mandated to represent the state from religious institution and religious dignitaries the attainment of such is termed secularity. Under a brief definition, secularism means that governments should remain neutral on the matter of religion and should not enforce nor prohibit the free exercise of religion, leaving religious choice to the liberty of the people. One manifestation of secularism is asserting the right to be free from religious rule and teachings, or, in a state declared to be neutral on matters of belief, from the imposition by government of religion or religious practices upon its people. Another manifestation of secularism is the view that public activities and decisions, especially political ones, should be uninfluenced by religious beliefs or practices. Secularism draws its intellectual roots from Greek and Roman philosophers such as Zeno of Sidium and Marcus Aurelius, from Enlightenment thinkers such as Erasmus, John Locke, Denis Diderot, Voltaire, Baruch Spinoza, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, and Thomas Paine, and from more recent freethinkers and atheists such as Robert Ingersoll, Bertrand Russell, and Christopher Hitchens. It shifts the focus from religion to other temporal and this worldly things with emphasis on nature, reason, science, and development. The purposes and arguments in support of secularism vary widely. In European laicism, it has been argued that secularism is a movement toward modernization, and away from traditional religious values, also known as secularization. This type of secularism, on a social or philosophical level, has often occurred while maintaining an official state church or other state support of religion. In the United States, some argue that state secularism has served to a greater extent to protect religion and the religious from governmental interference, while secularism on a social level is less prevalent. On the other hand, Meiji era Japan maintained that it was secular and allowed freedom of religion despite enforcing state Shinto and continuing to prohibit certain superstitions. Scholar of religion Jason Ananda Josephson has labeled this conception of the secular, the Shinto secular, and noted that it follows a pattern established in certain European constitutions. Overview The term, secularism, was first used by the British writer George Jacob Holyoke in 1851. Holyoke invented the term secularism to describe his views of promoting a social order separate from religion, without actively dismissing or criticizing religious belief. An agnostic himself, Holyoke argued that, "...secularism is not an argument against Christianity, it is one independent of it. It does not question the pretensions of Christianity, it advances others." Secularism does not say there is no light or guidance elsewhere, but maintains that there is light and guidance in secular truth, whose conditions and sanctions exist independently, and act forever. Secular knowledge is manifestly that kind of knowledge which is founded in this life, which relates to the conduct of this life, conduces to the welfare of this life, and is capable of being tested by the experience of this life. Barry Kosman of the Institute for the Study of Secularism in Society and Culture breaks modern secularism into two types, hard and soft secularism. According to Kosman, the hard secularist considers religious propositions to be epistemologically illegitimate, warranted by neither reason nor experience. However, in the view of soft secularism, the attainment of absolute truth was impossible and therefore skepticism and tolerance should be the principal and overriding values in the discussion of science and religion." History the departure from reliance on religious faith to reason and science marks the beginning of the secularization of education and society in history. Among the earliest documentations of a secular form of thought is seen in the Charvaka system of philosophy, which held direct perception, empiricism, and conditional inference as proper sources of knowledge, and sought to reject the prevailing religious practices of that time. According to Dominic Marbonang, secularism emerged in the West with the establishment of reason over religious faith as human reason was gradually liberated from unquestioned subjection to the dominion of religion and superstition. 
Secularism first appeared in the West in the classical philosophy and politics of ancient Greece, disappeared for a time after the fall of Greece, but resurfaced after a millennium and half in the Renaissance and the Reformation. He writes, an increasing confidence in human capabilities, reason, and progress, that emerged during the Italian Renaissance, together with an increasing distrust in organized and state-supported religion during the Reformation, was responsible for the ushering of modernity during the Enlightenment, which brought all facets of human life including religion under the purview of reason and thus became responsible for the freeing of education, society, and state from the domination of religion, in other words, the development of modern secularism. Harvey Cox explains that the Enlightenment hailed nature as the deep reality that transcended the corrupted man-made institutions of men. Consequently, the rights of man were not considered as God-given but as the de facto benefits of nature as revealed by reason. Topic. State secularism Topic. In political terms, secularism is a movement towards the separation of religion and government often termed the separation of church and state. This can refer to reducing ties between a government and a state religion, replacing laws based on scripture such as halakha, dominionism, and sharia law with civil laws, and eliminating discrimination on the basis of religion. This is said to add to democracy by protecting the rights of religious minorities. In his On Temporal Authority, 1523, Martin Luther argued for the division of the church and the state. He specified two distinct powers: Weltliches Regiment, German word for the kingdom of the world, the state, and Geistliches Regiment, German word for the kingdom of God, the church, and argued that citizens need only subject to the ruler's edict as long as the edict conformed to God. S. Divine will is revealed in the scriptures. Scholars, such as Jacques Berlinerblau of the Programme for Jewish Civilization at the Edmund A. Walsh School of Foreign Service at Georgetown University, have argued that the separation of church and state is but one possible strategy to be deployed by secular governments. What all secular governments, from the democratic to the authoritarian, share is a concern about the relationship between the church and the state. Each secular government may find its own unique policy prescriptions for dealing with that concern separation being one of those possible policies, French models, in which the state carefully monitors and regulates the church, being another. A major impact on the idea of state religious liberty came from the writings of John Locke who, in his A Letter Concerning Toleration argued in favor of religious toleration. He argued that government must treat all citizens and all religions equally and that it can restrict actions but not the religious intent behind them. Maharaja Ranjit Singh of the Sikh Empire of the first half of the 19th century successfully established a secular rule in the Punjab. This secular rule respected members of all races and religions and it allowed them to participate without discrimination in Ranjit Singh's darbar and he had Sikh, Muslim and Hindu representatives heading the darbar. Ranjit Singh also extensively funded education, religion, and arts of various different religions and languages. Secularism is most often associated with the Age of Enlightenment in Europe and it plays a major role in Western society. The principles, but not necessarily the practices, of separation of church and state in the United States and laicite in France draw heavily on secularism. Secular states also existed in the Islamic world during the Middle Ages see Islam and secularism, due in part to the belief in the separation of church and state. Secularists tend to prefer that politicians make decisions for secular rather than religious reasons. In this respect, policy decisions pertaining to topics like abortion, contraception, embryonic stem cell research, same-sex marriage, and sex education are prominently focused upon by American secularist organizations such as the Center for Inquiry. Some Christian fundamentalists and scholars, notably in the United States, oppose secularism, often claiming that there is a radical secularist ideology being adopted in our current day and they see secularism as a threat to Christian rights and national security. This could be a sign that hard secularism is taking over from soft secularism towards becoming the predominant ideological mindset. According to the terminology of Barry Kosman, described earlier in this article, the most significant forces of religious fundamentalism in the contemporary world are Christian fundamentalism and Islamic fundamentalism. At the same time, one significant stream of secularism has come from religious minorities who see governmental and political secularism as integral to the preservation of equal rights. Some of the well known states that are often considered constitutionally secular 
are the United States, France, Mexico South Korea, and Turkey although none of these nations have identical forms of governance with respect to religion. Countries with state religion in Northern Europe have a high degree of political secularism with systems built upon Protestant and democratic ideology. For example, the monarchy of Denmark have a constitutional right for the freedom of religion, freedom of speech and it is illegal to discriminate individually upon religion, ethnic origins etc. One of the most well-known countries with a religious political system is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Secular society Topic. In studies of religion, modern democracies are generally recognized as secular. This is due to the near complete freedom of religion beliefs on religion generally are not subject to legal or social sanctions, and the lack of authority of religious leaders over political decisions. Nevertheless, it has been claimed that surveys done by Pew Research Center show Americans as generally being more comfortable with religion playing a major role in public life, while in Europe the impact of the church on public life is declining. Modern sociology has, since Max Weber, often been preoccupied with the problem of authority in secularized societies and with secularization as a sociological or historical process. 20th century scholars, whose work has contributed to the understanding of these matters, include Carl L. Becker, Carl Lowith, Hans Blumenberg, M. H. Abrams, Peter L. Berger, Paul Benichu, and D. L. Munby, among others. Some societies become increasingly secular as the result of social processes, rather than through the actions of a dedicated secular movement. This process is known as secularization. Sociologist Peter L. Berger maintained that the modern world can no longer be described as being secular or becoming increasingly secular, instead it can best be described as being pluralistic. Secular ethics George Holyoke's 1896 publication English Secularism describes secularism as follows Secularism is a code of duty pertaining to this life, founded on considerations purely human, and intended mainly for those who find theology indefinite or inadequate, unreliable or unbelievable. Its essential principles are three, one, the improvement of this life by material means, two, that science is the available providence of man, three, that it is good to do good. Whether there be other good or not, the good of the present life is good, and it is good to seek that good. Holyoke held that secularism and secular ethics should take no interest at all in religious questions as they were irrelevant, and was thus to be distinguished from strong freethought and atheism. In this he disagreed with Charles Bradlaugh, and the disagreement split the secularist movement between those who argued that anti-religious movements and activism was not necessary or desirable and those who argued that it was. Contemporary ethical debate in the West is often described as secular. The work of well-known moral philosophers such as Derek Parfit and Peter Singer, and even the whole field of contemporary bioethics, have been described as explicitly secular or non-religious. American interpretation of secularism It has been argued that the concept of secularism has frequently been misinterpreted. In a July 2012 Huffington Post article titled Secularism is Not Atheism, Jacques Berlinerblau, director of the Program for Jewish Civilization at Georgetown University, wrote that, "...secularism must be the most misunderstood and mangled ism in the American political lexicon. Commentators on the right and the left routinely equate it with Stalinism, Nazism and Socialism, among other dreaded isms." In the United States, of late, another false equation has emerged. That would be the groundless association of secularism with atheism. The religious right has profitably promulgated this misconception at least since the 1970s. <laughs> secularism in late 20th century political philosophy it can be seen by many of the organizations NGOs for secularism that they prefer to define secularism as the common ground for all life stance groups, religious or atheistic, to thrive in a society that honors freedom of speech and conscience. An example of that is the National Secular Society in the UK. This is a common understanding of what secularism stands for among many of its activists throughout the world. 
However, many scholars of Christianity and conservative politicians seem to interpret secularism more often than not, as an antithesis of religion and an attempt to push religion out of society and replace it with atheism or a void of values, nihilism. This dual aspect as noted above in secular ethics, has created difficulties in political discourse on the subject. It seems that most political theorists in philosophy following the landmark work of John Rawls' Theory of Justice in 1971 and its following book, Political Liberalism 1993, would rather use the conjoined concept overlapping consensus rather than secularism. In the latter Rawls holds the idea of an overlapping consensus as one of three main ideas of political liberalism. He argues that the term secularism cannot apply, but what is a secular argument? Some think of any argument that is reflective and critical, publicly intelligible and rational, as a secular argument. Nevertheless, a central feature of political liberalism is that it views all such arguments the same way it views religious ones, and therefore these secular philosophical doctrines do not provide public reasons. Secular concepts and reasoning of this kind belong to first philosophy and moral doctrine, and fall outside the domain of the political. Still, Rawls' theory is akin to Holyoke's vision of a tolerant democracy that treats all life stance groups alike. Rawls' idea that it is in everybody's own interest to endorse a reasonable constitutional democracy with principles of toleration. His work has been highly influential on scholars in political philosophy and his term, overlapping consensus, seems to have for many parts replaced secularism among them. In textbooks on modern political philosophy, like Colin Farrelly's, An Introduction to Contemporary Political Theory, and Will Kimlicka's, Contemporary Political Philosophy, the term secularism is not even indexed and in the former it can be seen only in one footnote. However, there is no shortage of discussion and coverage of the topic it involves. It is just called overlapping consensus, pluralism, multiculturalism or expressed in some other way. In the Oxford Handbook of Political Theory, there is one chapter called Political Secularism by Rajiv Bhargava. It covers secularism in a global context and starts with this sentence, Secularism is a beleaguered doctrine. Topic. Organizations Topic. Groups such as the National Secular Society United Kingdom and Americans United Campaign for Secularism are often supported by humanists. In 2005, the National Secular Society held the inaugural Secularist of the Year awards ceremony. The award's first winner was Maryam Namazi, of the Worker Communist Party of Iran and the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain which aims to break the taboo that comes with renouncing Islam and to oppose apostasy laws and political Islam. The Scottish Secular Society is active in Scotland and is currently focused on the role of religion in education. In 2013 it raised a petition at the Scottish Parliament to have the Education Scotland Act 1980 changed so that parents will have to make a positive choice to opt into religious observance. Another secularist organization is the Secular Coalition for America. The Secular Coalition for America lobbies and advocates for separation of church and state as well as the acceptance and inclusion of secular Americans in American life and public policy. While Secular Coalition for America is linked to many secular humanistic organizations and many secular humanists support it, as with the Secular Society, some non-humanists support it. Local organizations work to raise the profile of secularism in their communities and tend to include secularists, freethinkers, atheists, agnostics, and humanists under their organizational umbrella. Student organizations, such as the Toronto Secular Alliance, try to popularize nontheism and secularism on campus. The Secular Student Alliance is an educational nonprofit that organizes and aids such high school and college secular student groups. In Turkey, the most prominent and active secularist organization is Atatürkist Thought Association AD, which is credited for organizing the Republic protests, demonstrations in the four largest cities in Turkey in 2007, where over two million people, mostly women, defended their concern in and support of secularist principles introduced by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Leicester Secular Society founded in 1851 is the world's oldest secular society. Topic. See also Topic. Topic. Notes 
Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Theory. Charles Taylor. The Meaning of Secularism. The Hedgehog Review, Fall 2010. Topic. External links. Topic. Ian Benson. Considering Secularism. Secularism 101: Religion, Society, and Politics. Secular Sites. SSRC blog on secularism, religion, and the public sphere. Will Issy, the Indian secular intellectuals, ever see beyond their skewed opinions? Hitesh Rangra.